Today's matchup is Scunner versus Knifehead, both from Pacific Rim. So with the size of these two kaijus, Knifehead stands at around 330 feet tall, while Scunner stands at around 359 feet tall. And as far as the anatomy of these kaijus, obviously from Pacific Rim, it was proven that all the kaijus are clones. Their DNA are clones, but obviously they all have different features that make different ones more deadly. But as far as knife and scunner go, they are very, very similar. Basically, their whole body structure is the same, except for their actual head, where knife head clearly has a knife for a head. He has the pointy head to where he can pierce through Jaegers, clearly. And scunner has the different face features that clearly look different with the two horns on the sides and his eyes protruding. But their body structure, as far as their arms, legs, and main body go, is actually the same. And as far as this fight goes, like I said with Slatter and how you only saw him in the water, I assume the fight I'm talking about is going to be on land, but I will give a scenario for the water too. Water and land scenarios. So if these two kaijus were on land, facing off, I really do think with Knifehead having the protruding spike on his head would be a very big weapon and that's something that I don't know how well Scunner would be able to defend against at least on land clearly he's very quick underwater which is why if this fight was underwater I would easily give Scunner the win just because we saw Knifehead swimming in the water and obviously he could probably swim faster but just seeing how agile Scunner was how he was able to swim really fast around Gypsy Avengers able to sneak up on him because of that alone, I would have to give Scunner the win under the water. But now let's go to the actual on-land fight. From that beginning scene of Pacific Rim, when you see Knifehead, he's able to fight off Gypsy Danger. Gypsy Danger blows him back with a plasma cannon. And then when you see Knifehead charge at Gypsy Danger, he's, you see him swipe Gypsy Danger. And he's very quick in that moment. Definitely very quick. And you can see his bite force. As you know, he bites his arm, and then he's able to rip off his arm, rip off Gypsy Avenger's arm with his head, and then he's able to rip open the compound of Gypsy Danger. So clearly, the danger, the threat level of Knifehead is definitely proven here. And the same for Scunner when Gypsy Danger is under the water. They had fought off Rally and Mako were in Gypsy Danger at that point, instead of Rally and his brother in the beginning. But Scunner was very quick underwater when Knifehead was very quick on land. But I assume Scunner would be able to be just as quick on land, if not quicker, than Knifehead. But the biggest factor I feel that I didn't even mention was that Knifehead is a Category 3. He's a Category 3 going up against a Category 4, which is Scunner. And Scunner is one of the last Category 4s to go out of the breach. He was one of the t last two to actually come out of the breach, so you know he's one of the most deadly Category 4s. But I still don't think that just automatically decides the fight, because Scunner, while he's bigger category, and, you know, he's faster under the water, as we've seen, but I still think you can't just count off Knifehead, because of how much damage he did. He did more damage to G Gypsy Danger than Scunner did, and so that's why you can't just write him off. Even if this fight was underwater, with Knifehead's head, how he has the sharp protruding point on his head, I feel even under the water and on land that he would be able to pull out the victory against Scunner because if Scunner was swimming really fast at him or he was trying to sneak up on him on land, with that huge weapon, I feel like Knifehead's knife head would be a lot better of a weapon than anything Scunner has to offer. Yeah, he's pretty quick and he's bigger, but... I really think Knifehead would still pull out this win in an upset just because his attack is just better than Scunner's. From the movie, clearly Scunner was more of a water-type kaiju, but if we're talking about on land, I feel Knifehead wins, and even though Knifehead would have a chance to win in the water, I still think Scunner would win if it was a water fight. But what do you think? Who do you think would win this fight? That was the first upset in a lower category kaiju defeating a higher category, it's only one category, and Knifehead was one of the last Category 3s to come out of the breach, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. But let me know down below who you think will win this fight, and thanks for watching. Frick